converge or diverge sigma as n goes from 2 to infinity 1 over n times square root of ln n. First of all, leave a comment down below. Let me know what do you think. Why do we start with n is equal to 2 in this case instead of 1? Okay, maybe there's a good reason why. But then we'll focus on if this series converges or not. Sometimes the starting value doesn't matter except for the reason that you're going to tell me. Okay? Anyways, if you look at this, 1 over n times square root of ln n, it's hard to do anything in the sense of doing the comparison or uh, the ratio test or the root test. But it seems like this is something that we can integrate. If you look at this as 1 over x times square root of ln x, that's something that we can integrate. With that being said, let's use the integral test. Okay, so let me just indicate this. Let's use the integral test. And then in order for us to use the integral, you have to tell me what the function is. Of course, the function is just this, and you replace all the n with x, except for, the, uh, for this n. <laughs> That's the name, ln. But then you replace this become x, and that become x f of x is 1 over x times square root of ln x, okay? And then in order for us to use the integral test, for this function, we have to make sure three things. You can do a graph, and you can tell me the three things. First, this function is positive, meaning it's above the x-axis. And second of all, it's continuous, right, for this portion. And then third of all, it's decreasing. So I'll just abbreviate this right here, decreasing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is how it goes. I'm going to check the improper integral version of that. So let me work out the integral with you guys from 2 to infinity, 1 over x, square root of ln x. Haven't done integral for a while, right? All right. The integral test says, if this improper integral converges, then this right here also converges. If this diverges, this also diverges. But then, in terms of the convergent, if this converges to 5, for example, this does not converge to 5. We only know, in terms of the convergence, they will have the same convergence. Either they both converge, or they both diverge they don't necessarily converge to the same value. But then our answer, we only worry about if this converge or not, okay? All right, to do improper integral, two things. Note your integration and believe in your limit. So let's do it. To integrate this, I'm going to use the u substitution that u equals to inside function, which is the ln x. And then you see du is one over x dx, Multiply x on both sides, you get dx equals to x du. And we'll take this integral into the u world, let's see what we get. Integral, well, this is from 2 to infinity. In the x world, this is x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, that means u is equal to ln2. So in the u world, u is going from ln2. When x is infinity, we know ln of infinity it's also infinity. U is also infinity right here. Okay? And then inside we have 1 over x is right here. Square root, the ln is the u. So I'll put down the u right here. dx is x times du. x times du, like this. As we can see, this x and that x will cancel each other out. So now we can focus on doing the integration. And to do so, actually, you have to take one more step. 1 over square root of u. We are going to write it down as u to the negative 1 power first. Okay? And then we haven't done any integration yet, so we have to put this down. And then this is the u values, ln2 to infinity. How can we do this integral? Well, this is now power root backwards. We add 1 to it. Negative 1 plus 1. I mean, negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half, right? And then we have to divide it by this new power. 
dividing by one half, it's the same as saying multiply by two over one. So now we have two u, and this is the one half power, so it's a square root pretty much, right? Two times square root of u, and I'm just going to work out everything in the u world. You go from L1 to to infinity, and as we can see, I'm just going to plug infinity into here. We have two square root of infinity, and then we will minus two and plugging L1 two right here. Square root L1 two like this. This is what infinity inside. Square root of infinity is still infinity. Two times infinity. It's even bigger infinity. It's infinity. Minus, this is just finite. Infinity minus a finite value is still, it's infinity. Okay? You see, I just work out everything that you were right here. But then, it doesn't matter because at the end, I end up to have infinity. Which we can say, this diverges, right? So, let me put down, DIV stands for divergent, for the improper integral. And now, by the integral test, we can also conclude that the original series that we we're trying to do also diverges. And I just have to write it down somewhere, right? Perhaps here. The original sigma going from 2 to infinity, 1 over n square root of ln n. This right here also diverges. And the reason for that is by the integral test. Okay? So, that's it.